This code technically works, but it's messy and it's prone to errors. Let's say we're coding late at night and instead of checking for an admin user, we accidentally write uh, admin user. And we're going to keep getting an error saying no valid user. And it might be actually difficult to see where we went wrong. To prevent errors like this, we can actually use something called enum. So let's say enum user role. And we give it a few cases. Let's say we have a case of admin, a case of member, and a case of guest. Now down here we can say if user role equals equals dot admin, we can print admin detected. We can do an else if. We can do something else. And lastly, we can just check for a guest user. Now, when we run this, we're less prone to typo errors because let's say here we say add nim, we're going to get an error here before we can run the code. See, user role has no member add nim. So we can go up here and say, oh, okay, we need to say add nim. And we have all of the other roles we defined here. So let's say we add another one like uh, other. We have other automatically. We don't really need to worry about typos or strings for our role equals admin. We don't need to check for admin in a string. We can just use these predefined roles that we created up here.